What is up guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to listen to music while playing your PS Vita games. If you guys go and check out the last video on my channel, or just go and search it on my channel, I do actually have a video showing you how to set up the official music app and how to add your own MP3 songs. Well, I guess this video is kind of part two, unless you're not interested in the first one. Um, but yeah, this one is basically how to listen to this music and play games at the same time. Now this works with homebrew games, this works of like you know real games this will also work with stuff like adrenaline so the PSP emulator this is actually really cool I've been waiting for something like this for quite a while I think there was one already but a brand new one just got released and the new one is actually very good so what we want to do to get this plugin you want to go ahead and you want to open up Vita Shell you must have custom firmware if you want to listen to music while you're playing your games so just go and start this up now you guys want to keep note you can either use USB connection so you can press select and you can connect it or you can use the FTP server. Either one is fine, doesn't really matter. So what I'm gonna do, connect it via USB, and then we can drag across the files. So guys, make sure to check out the description if you guys would like to get the latest link to Music Premium. As far as I know, this is not on auto plugin yet, so I would recommend going to the link, or if you guys want to check auto plugin, maybe by the time you're watching this video, they've added it to it because they are quite quick. But here it is, Music Premium, made by Cuva Virus. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly, but this is a very cool plugin. This is actually a premium version of the original, but all you guys want to do to get this installed is go to the releases. There is actually two of them out right now. Um, the latest one was only released two hours ago, so this is pretty much a brand new kind of PS Vita plugin. The last one I think was oh that was only yesterday as well so there you go literally brand new and all you guys want to do is scroll down and you want to get the SKPRX obviously if you're watching this video and there is a new version make sure to go ahead and grab that the installation is very simple we need to put it into the URO's tie folder and then we just need to add this under the kernel in the tie config.txt file so you guys know how it works. We're gonna to go to our downloads folder. We need to find our plugin. And what we're gonna do is just stick this on the root of our PS Vita. Obviously make sure it's connected. Just go and drag and drop it on the root. And here it is. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back onto my PS Vita. We can put this in the URO. We can add that line of text to the tie folder. We're then gonna reboot and hopefully it should be working. Okay, so once we are back, what we actually want to do is I'm just going to go onto my UX. So I think that's where I put it. So we're just going to scroll down and we are going to find the plugin. As I said, this is not yet on auto plugin. So if you're following this video, you can pretty much just manually install it like me. It's very easy. We're going to press triangle. We're going to go down and we're going to press X on move. It's going to say copied one file. Now it's kind of like selected it, not really copied, but it just says that. We're going to press circle to go back. We're going to go and find the URO and we need to press X to go in to it. Now what we need to do is scroll down and we need to find a TAI file. So we're going to press X on this one, we're going to press triangle at the top and we're going to press X on paste and as you can see it's going to move it and put it in somewhere there. Now what we have to do is go and find config.txt, make sure we're in the URO and we're just going to press X to go and open it. So now what we need to do, we need to go to kernel, we need to press um, right on the d-pad and it's going to make a new line for us. Now I've already entered this in so I'm just going to remove my line real quick. But this is what you want to enter in on that new line. So it's exactly what I've got here. As you guys can see, URO dot dot TAI slash music underscore premium dot SKPRX. Once you've entered that in, exactly how I've got it, we're going to click on this small black arrow, press circle, we're going to save it. We're going to press circle to go all the way back. Now we need to click close out and now it's time to actually reboot so what am I doing don't close out just yet we need to press start and we're just going to go down to reboot right here so just wait for it to reboot shouldn't really take too long now you want to launch your custom firmware obviously if you've got Enso it's already going to be running but I don't just so I can you know do tests and stuff so I'm just going to launch my custom firmware very quickly and then we should be able to get it working as soon as our custom firmware loads. Um, it's a plugin. It doesn't really have a menu. It's kind of just running like that. So what we're going to do, we're going to go and find music. We're going to go ahead and we are going to start this up. Now, what we have to do is pretty much just pick a song of choice. Now, I probably should have got a no copyright song. Yeah, I, I didn't get one in my last video. Oh, well, I'm just going to... Um, I'd say Josh's song is probably the least likely to be copied. So we're going to play this one. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Let me just turn on the volume a bit. 
And when your song is playing, pretty much what you can do is exit out of it. Now, you don't want to minimize it like that. You want to keep it open. And what we can do from here is pretty much just launch anything you want. Adventure Time, let's go for it. You can play Adventure Time, or obviously just any game in general, while you're listening to your music. Now we're going to do play game. Now keep in mind the Adventure Time music is also going to be working. So if you've got some kind of options, you can actually turn the music down. Um, wait, how do I even do it? There you go, use this one on this game. But yeah, you might want to turn the music down. Um, you can keep like, um, you know, like um, sound effects and stuff like that. You can keep that on. I just need to go on OK. And now let's do a quick game and I'll show you guys that music works while you're playing games. So there you go, listening to this tune. And we can play games at the same time. This is really nice. I've been waiting for something like this for quite a while because obviously I'd rather listen to my own music while I'm playing one of my games. Now the cool thing is this also works with adrenaline. So let me just go and prove that. Let me just start this up. And this should work while you're playing PSP games as well. So there you go, listening to the song in Adrenaline, and I've probably played a bit too much of it. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much how you listen to your own music while playing games. And if you guys want your own music to stop, simply just go close it down, and it will actually stop the music. Or you can pause it if you want to, you know, you guys get the idea. But that is pretty much it for this video. That is how you listen to your own music while playing your PS Vita games. I really like this plugin, really simple to use, and it works well. Now, I'm not sure if it works with other music apps, but it works very well with the official one, which is why I made the last video on it. And um, there's just a problem, sometimes it might not work if you're using an SD to Vita. So keep that in mind. If you're getting problems with your SD to Vita, maybe try your memory card or your internal storage if you're on 2000 or PS TV. But yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.